and I feel that the Spirit of God is here. Uh, I like the spirit of my sister in yellow. <laughs> but it's time for our intention to prayer. But before we go to our prayer request, any praise report, any thanksgiving, any testimony for the Lord, what the, what the Lord has done in your lives. So this is open up for everybody. Any special thanks? Any. Uh... I think Dr. Shea wants to go to the Okay, brother. When you have my shark, it's time to Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Oh, God's wonder and miracle. See? A living testimony. Testimony here too. 
So if you want to praise the Lord, so give thanks to the Lord, give this testimony for His goodness and mercy. So, uh, my name is Charles, and uh, I have a similar story to this gentleman over here. In 2008, I was diagnosed with cancer. I had had neck cancer, and uh, I was uh, had radiation, and then I uh, got over that. And uh, I found out that I had had uh, uh, two heart attacks, mm -hmm. and my arteries were blocked in my chest and my neck. Mm -hmm. I had two stents. Mm -hmm. Then, when I was while that was going on, I had two strokes, mm -hmm. and I've had cancer, heart attacks, and strokes, and I'm still here by the grace of God. Yeah. And my wife broke her leg. Oh, yeah, the came, came to came to pray and pray for us. Oh, praise the Lord. We want to thank Bonita. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Let us clap our hands. We are living testimony of God's goodness and miracles. Any more want to, to give testimony and give thanks to the Lord? Can you praise your Lord? No. See? Okay. God is still in the business. Same business. Okay, let us go to our prayer request. Anybody, you have a prayer request? Sister? Yeah, I have a prayer request for a friend of mine who has multiple sclerosis. Uh -huh. And she was taken to the ER yesterday. She's still in so much pain. And her name is Kathy. And if you can pray for her, I would appreciate it. Kathy. Thank you. What is that? Multiple sclerosis. Sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis. MS. Wow. Um, any more? Prayer request? We also have here a prayer request from Dr. David Lazarus, Peter's aunt, Peter, uh, Pastor Victoria Harrison, from the Bible Study Ministry, and Mrs. Elizabeth Jordan. Steve John's mother. So any more prayer requests? Of course, we have to pray for this church. And of course, personally, I would like to thank God for being Pastor Cho here. It's a blessing to have a lot of children in the church. And so we decided to have to insert five minutes of children's stories. Is that okay? Okay. So for now, I have a friend from Filipino Ocean Hill. Um, we will be we go to Filipino a little before, and they are starting to come here once in a while. So uh, we have Sister Jeanette Hernando to give the children's story. Amen. Children, can you please come in front? So we have a story for you. Okay, everybody, come forward. Yeah, you can sit down here, this way. I think I'm sick. And how are you today? How are you today?
Thank you, Sister Jeanette. Um, so the next part of our program is introduction for our speaker. Um, I'm excited about it. Excited uh, introducing him. We work together in Oxenhill. Actually, he was the one who started Philippine Oxenhill Church in uh, Oxenhill. When was that? Two years ago? Or two years now? So, but he was the one who started with it. I mean, we're just, at first, we're renting a very, very small room. And uh, what I'm going to say is, he is a man of God. He, is, he has the desire or passion to bring people to God. But before you work with him, I have a warning. Okay, my warning is, when you want, if you want to work with him, make sure that you have energy. You have to have full of energy. Because this man is always full of energy. So that's why, and he has full of uh, a lot of strategy, plans. Last night we were talking together in Brother Nan's house, and I was just listening and I said, hmm, this man is on fire. <laughs> so, I like his leadership style. He wants to train members. It's not only him that will work, but members has to work as well. So every time we go out, he's always there to lead out, including Sister Bonita with a smile. Yes. So it's not, it's not only that you will say, okay, let you go out to this place, you go out to this place, but he will be there working with us. And he wants to train us so we can also go out and uh, share the doctrines to other people as well. Amen. He's very compassionate, he's a very compassionate person, very patient with his wife. He's very dedicated and determined to work for the Lord. He works in the conference. I think he's one of the big man there. <laughs> and uh, I am I am very sure that God sends Dr. Cho and his wife to this place. I think it's now this is not the time that God appointed for this church to grow. Amen. So this church is like, it started like almost three years ago. And so they don't have really much of people, but I am excited with the Pastor Cho's presence. And we will be working together for the Lord. And before he will speak, we'll have responsive reading and theme song. After that, the next voice that we will be hearing is from Pastor Cho. So let us listen as he delivers the message from the Lord. So we will call uh, John for, the, for our scripture reading. John. Good morning. Our scripture reading today will be taken from Revelation 20 through 22 verse 20. I will be reading and you will be listening. He which testified with these things say, Surely I come quickly. Amen. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. May the Lord add blessing to this reading. Amen. Shall we all now stand for our theme song, Holy Ground?
ask you to pray with me. Let's bow our head and pray. Our Heavenly Father, who is the owner of the big universe, creator of the universe as well as all of the world you. Thank you for giving us a privilege to standing on the holy ground. Not because this church is holy, but because you are holy. You are here because of that this is holy. Thank you for inviting us who are saints. Not because we are holy, but through the blood of Jesus Christ and their faith, we became a saint. Thank you for the holy day Sabbath. Not because the day is holy, but Christ is in this day. Amen. Thank you for holiness of you and saints and the Sabbath holy day. Father, accept all of us and transfer to your likeness. Yes. So we can, <coughs> so that we can be ready for your soon coming. Lord, I am not going to pray. Please talk through me to your saints. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. What a great God we are serving. What an awesome God. Today's title is what? The best good news. This morning, by God's grace, I spent a couple of hours to pray. And I prayed one of you. Each and over you, one by one. My wife, Bonita, informed me, Honey, there are many families, but remember one family from my hospital. So when I pray, I do not know their name exactly, but I put their name in my prayer list. What a joy I am enjoying and experiencing because they are here. Mm. Wonderfully speaking, I got a call from a friend of mine. I met him for the first time on the street. Mm -hmm. He called me early morning, so I wake up and then went to the telephone. And he said, I got your phone last night. The address where I am going is 1265. I'm not sure. Is it the number? And then Carverton, Silver Spring, 2094. Oh, how do you know that? Because you left in the answering machine. Wow. And I look at my clock, it's 6 o'clock a.m. He could not wait until this moment. When I drove to this parking lot, that's around 9.45. I told him you can come around 10 or 11. Already, he was in the parking lot. Amen. So, I'm very glad. His name is Charles Gillespie. Why God has brought all of us to here? I know because God is going to say the best goodness in the whole world, maybe in the universe. So let me say and speak about the best goodness. Where is the remote control? I can pass the next slide show. Or maybe somebody can move to another section. 
I'm going to show you around 6 and 7 because sometimes visual aid will help us to see his mind. Okay. <clears throat> this is the story. Okay. This is it. The good news is Jesus greatly desires to come back soon. Amen. Soon is not enough. Praise the Lord. Very, very soon. Come, Jesus. Come, Jesus. Very, very soon. That's the reason why John, John read the Bible verse. Revelation 20 to 20. Say, I will come soon. So now, yes, Lord. he is come. coming very, very soon. Do you believe it? Yeah. Yeah. Then let me tell you why he's anxious to come back. So there is a reason why. I don't read for you. Maybe the letter is so small to read everything. Therefore, I can read it for you. At Jesus' second coming, God will change us into immortal beings with perfect bodies. Wow. <laughs> Yesterday on Friday, when I saw no sin, no sorrow, Charles no on the street, he told me, I am handicapped man. I could not see because he was sitting on the chair in the car. Today, when he was opposed to the sanctuary, he depended upon the three sticks and stepping to the church one by one. When he comes, my brother Charles, you do not need that stick of a hand. When I pray, 
I never expected to preach today. When I had a chance to have a fellowship with my neighbor, I never told them that I am a pastor. So maybe today I have to say that I am your minister, but only servant. Uh, anyway, Jesus really anxious to come back very soon. Maybe some of you have some guilty feeling. Everybody is facing that issue all the way. But today, I would like to read you a message we shared in our table for morning worship. I will read it for you. Let go of the past. God says, I alone will blot out your sins for my own sake and will never think of them again. Who told him? Sometimes we remember our mistake, like myself. But I trust not me, but I trust the world to my like God. God says, if you are before me, if you believe in the power of the blood, I will never think of that again. Ah. Problem is, we remember because Satan is still here. So Satan is whispering, hey, Mr. Joe, Mr. Whoever, or Miss Bonita. Bonita is beautiful. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. My wife, man. Even though she's not beautiful, beautiful to somebody, but to me she's beautiful. Ah, yeah. This is what I proposed, no? <laughs> so we got married in 1976. Always beautiful, right? You are beautiful to God, as you raise my eyesight. Yeah. Amen, amen. So remember, Isaiah 43, 25. For my sake, for my sake means God's sake means his nature. He cannot hold our mistake. As long as we stand before the blood of Christ. I do not remember because already 2,000 years ago with my son, I raised your son. Amen, amen. Not your son, but you raised my son, Christ cried, why do you forsake me? Because Christ committed himself, Father, I am going to take the sin of humanity in the Amen. So God said, nothing means we have to take care of humanity. I'm very thankful because God did an answer to Christ's request. I'm very glad that Christ was willing to accept our sins upon himself so that God will never remember our mistake and our mistake. We are serving the awesome God. Disappointment and setback from time to time. But if you hold them to heart and pain, we end up living negative and bitter lives. Maybe you have made some mistakes or some poor choices, and now you are tempted to sit around feeling guilty and condemned thinking you wish you had chosen another carrier or another lady, another man, or married, married to that other person. 
process is so easy to live like focus on a review mirror. We can't do anything about the past. And we have no guarantee regarding the future. We can only do something about right now. The good news is that your past does not have to poison your future. Remember? The good news is that your past does not have to poison your future. No matter what we have done before, or die, and again, Praise the Lord. Because God never think about our business again in the blood of Jesus Christ. He, God, our God, wants to take the negative situation, turn it around, and use it to your advantage. Do you remember that, God? Our God is awesome God, isn't it? Yeah, he is. So not yeah, to any people, but praising God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. We are to any president to our king. King of kings. Father, yeah. Then, I will show you Jesus is ready. He is ready to come. You see the picture? But Jesus, I would like to go very soon. I want you to be ready. Now you can say, how can we unite with Jesus to fulfill his design? His design means God greatly desires to come here soon. How can we marry Jesus to fulfill his desire? What is your answer in the Bible? Just pause a moment and think. What is the answer? How can we marry with Jesus to fulfill his desire? I will give you one quotation saying, It is not the will of God that the coming of Christ should be so long delayed, and his people should remain so many years in this world of sin and sorrow. It is not his will. Is it clear? Yes, it is very clear. Reason for delay of his return. There are many reasons. Like unbelief, worldliness, unconsecration, and strife among the lowest people. But the very important statement is this. Had the Church of Christ I mean, all Christianity, not only Catholic, Protestant, Methodist, Baptist, Seventh-day Adventist, Pentecostal Church. Had the Church of Christ done or appointed the world as the Lord ordained, the whole world would before this day have, have been born and the Lord Jesus would have come to our earth in power and great glory. Due to the children this afternoon, I like to stop showing the slides. I'm more than 10 or 20 behind. But I like to stop accepting my last slide. I'm a very flexible speaker. Okay, here. Okay, condition of Jesus. This is my last slide show before giving you my gift to all of you. Okay. Condition of Jesus' return. Jesus answered, 
can't be hidden. No one deceives you. And this gospel of the kingdom will be preached in the all the world. Watch for the red line as a witness to all the nations. And then the end will come. Many people just bypass the red letter. People are reading this way. The gospel of the kingdom will be preached to all the world and then the end will come. But Bible does not say so. Bible includes the red letter. I will read again. The gospel of the kingdom will be preached in all the world. What is the red line? Could you read it together? As the witness to all the nations. We'll study about the Greek meaning of witness next time. The last move is of heaven. A witness to all nations is more than just preaching the gospel. It involves living in a way that reflects the character of Jesus Christ. Therefore, this is a real climax of today's selection. Carefully bring it together. If I start, then everybody can bring it together. Let's start. Carry the burden of soul of every heart. By every mean, in your power, seek to save the most. As you receive the Spirit of Christ, the Spirit of Uncertainty, and labor for others. We will grow and bring forth the grace of the Spirit to run in your character. So the best way to have such a character is to receive a Spirit of Christ. Then we are burden to go out for the people. Is it clear? Amen. Therefore, Before you go to your mission field, wherever you may be, the place where you are is the mission field. You don't need to go to the Africa as a mission field. No. After we have God's given patwa prepared by saints, we will go to our mission field. I'm going to help you to be a very effective, efficient missionary. I will not ask you to go home without having tool to be a missionary. Right? Alright. So I brought some people. Brother Mel, could you give this one for each? Alright. Beautiful. God loves you. Okay? One and one is star. And the left over, the right, right? Alright. You will have it, and I will let you know how to use it as a mission. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Some neighbor received it before. Most of them. God loves you. When you go home, well, you are living in the apartment house. You can hang this hammer in your door now, or you can use it for something. You have more friends. 
you can. It's not fair. No, <laughs> they have people, everybody's equal. <laughs> Private are in the view, but in the public, I must be fair. Am I correct? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bible says, God loves you. One more time. God from time to time loves you. Is it true? No. God always loves you. True or false? Yes. So, it is here. God's love is not conditional on us. But it is the very nature of him. That's the reason why for his sake, he forgave our mistake, our sins, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Is it clear? Everybody has to know. This picture, beautiful picture, you can study what kind of picture it is. To left side, beginning of Genesis, Genesis 3. The right side, end of New Testament, New Heaven and Earth. At the center of this picture, Jesus Christ, who was crucified in us. Huh? Just says, when you lift me up, I draw all all mistake, all sins, all kinds of pain. You can start it by yourself. And then down just says, I am coming soon. So let's be ready for the soul to together. And then flip side. Continue on the other side. You will study it all one by one. I put four Bible verses. The title is For Secrets to Possessing Everlasting Life, A Victorious Christian Life, and Unconditional Love in Christ. What a wonderful life it is. If you really must have that kind of life, for secrets are written by number one, two, three, four. Study it on and pray. We pray with these Bible verses. And God will bless you and me. Let me tell you one real story and then I will finish. My presentation. This is real story happened in California. This picture I found in the general conference near to our church. I asked special permission from GC for using this picture in his hand. So they gave me permission after one month. As soon as I finished making this one line, I went to the GC who allowed me to use it. And I went to his office. And then, when he saw this, he told me an amazing story. So I had a chance to talk to the lady. This the real story happened in California. So again, this lady, around 20 years ago, she was about to kill herself in the kitchen. Everything went apart. Nothing was good to her. All kinds of problems she could not solve. So he decided, right now, I am going to kill myself in the kitchen. And she was about to take the last pill in the middle of work. All of a sudden, there was a knocking at the door. So, 
This lady, wait a minute, who is knocking so hard? He stopped. And then he went out. At the door, there was a young man, 18 years old at the time, young man, saying, hello, madam. I am passing house to house to finish my community survey. Can you give me one minute to write down this community survey? Why not? And then this lady did something. Thank you, Mom. And then he was rushing to the next house. So this lady, where did he go? Now, he went to where? Kitchen to what? And then, when he was about to drink with a pill, all of a sudden, oh, the young man gave him a little water. So he took a little water from his palm, a whole palm. And then she went in. After that, her emotion was moving. He began to cry. And he found out. I thought nobody loves me. But now I know God loves me. There is some God who loves me. I do not know somebody loves me. And she cried. And then she decided, as long as somebody loves me, I will not die. Mm. To make a long story short, after chapter one, there was an imaginary crusade by a major fact. So she attended that meeting, and then she accepted what's the law? That time, since then, for 20 years, she has been, even today, has been a faithful Christian. Praise the Lord! God still loves 7 billion people in the new and So people is humble for hearing God's love through you and me. Now you have something in your hand. When you go out as a missionary, can you share God's love? Yeah. Are you really going to do it? Yes. If you really want to respond to God's love, could you stand up? No. So then you may stand up if you want. Now I am accepting God's awesome love. Amen, amen, amen. I love to share this awesome love. And I am waiting for your soon coming. How can I be part of your work for hasten your soon coming? Let me know that God loves all of them on the condition.
they praise you. They accept your condition. They are ready to tell to the people. As a missionary, God loves you. Through their mouth, through their whole body. So that you can be glorified and people can be healed. Now, only them in the Holy Spirit so that they can be a well-equipped missionary before you. Oh, Holy Spirit, come down upon us so you can be well-equipped. Oh, thank you, thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.
Once again, church, amen. Yeah. Amen. Amen. amen, church. Were you blessed this morning? Yes. Yeah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes. Let us pray. Father God, we are thankful, Lord, that you have sent our children by here this morning. Yes. And you have blessed us, Lord, with your word of going and telling someone yes. that you are coming again. Yes. yes. I pray to ask you, Lord, that you will bless each and every one of us as we are about to uh, do what we do best. And probably, Lord, to go and eat and do all of that good stuff. Lord. Bless us and guide us and keep us, Lord. Mm -hmm. And bring us back here safely. Yeah. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.